Hey, what's up? It's Ruby! Drink with me today! Something different. It's a French still, but this is from a region that I've never tried. It's Southern France, Languedoc. It is uh, the biggest area that produces wine in France. I didn't know that. So the wine is called Madecable. Uh, and it's Libre Pensé Somoné. And it's a 2013 red wine. It's from some wines, I'm not sure, I think it's Grenache. I'll write it down below. But this is from a region I have never tried. Lang Lang Languedoc? Languedoc. Languedoc. Anyway, uh, I thought, I always thought Bordeaux is like the biggest wine producing region in France, but no. And this area also has a uh, like a long history of making wines, like thousands of years of making wine. So let's see. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh. <laughs> almost there, almost there. Oh my goodness, the cork cracked in half. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! No oh no! It's okay. Yeah, it's still. Let's see. Let's try one more time. See if we can take it out. Why? 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 Okay. Wish me luck. Okay, I I heard something. I think I should stop now. No, I'm just drilling into nothing. Oh no! Hold on. I'm. I'll be back. I need to grab. An old school opener, ERP. Okay, I'm back with a chopstick and an old school wine opener. Wish me luck. What the heck? Okay, so maybe my electric opener is too like for um too much, like the, the mechanism is too great for this dedicated cork. Wait, am I, am I spinning in the right direction? Okay, gentle, gentle, right. Okay, I'm not, I'm not good at this thing. Damn it, damn it. Okay, 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 we are, we are moving, we're moving, we're moving. Damn, this is all this loose bits. I don't want it to fall into my wine. This is really crunchy and and loose. You see? Damn it. What's wrong with you, yo? This is a 2013, not too old. Damn. I dropped a little bit inside. Ah, oh, okay. Tough work. Good job, Ruby. All right, let's pour this out. Let's see if that bit will come up. All right, so this area is known for pro massively producing wine and Previous in the previous history, they are known for producing like table wines, inexpensive one, maybe a little bit lower quality. But in the recent years, they changed that and then they make um, wine better. They they are producing better quality now from the area. So let's see. Color is brick red, so brownish red. All right, let's give it a sniff. I don't know what to expect. Okay, it's got an interesting scent to it. It smells like soy sauce. <laughs> I know, I know. It's still fruity, smells fruity, but smells like soy sauce. It smells like salty. It smells like it smells like something that's gone wrong, gone bad. It smells, it smells like a spoiled. A spoiled dish, like an old dish that has been in the fridge for too long. I don't know if it's a good thing or not. Okay, let's give it a try. I kind of can't wait. Alright, cheers! Okay, interesting. It's quite berry, um, light, like juice. It has a little bit of feeling of the carbonation. Like, it is a wine, it's not a champagne not for sure, but it's got a little bit of that bubbly feeling. Kind of reminds me of the light uh, wine, like the Beaujolais, very fruity, light, the French red wine. 
Kind of like that. Okay, I need to have more. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Got that bits in there. Yeah, so it's got a little bit of this soil flavor and I, it's hard to describe like a cigar box like but um leather it's like a little bit of the leather cigar flavor and still yes the little bit of the soy sauce feeling like reminds me of soy sauce it's very weird <laughs> very interesting flavor yeah so it's fruity light dry low in tannin not too acidic low low in acidity and it's quite interesting it's very different it's like leathery old, old leather though old dish that has been sitting in the fridge for a while <laughs> very interesting it's got a bitter aftertaste so so this is an intense one it's quite bitter at the end I don't know let's decant it and we'll be back in a few hours BRB hey I'm back it has been two and a half hours so let's see how our mother cabla tastes like now it was really interesting when I first opened it um, so this wine is um, from uh, made from the grapes Karenin, Syrah and Grenache which is something different that um, that I don't usually taste. And when I pour it out, there's a very little sediment. Some there's some I can see that, but just very little in there. Let's see how it's like now. Let's top it up a bit more. One more. I got myself some cheese here since this is a powerful one, so I want to see how it tastes like with the cheese. Okay, let's smell. Yeah, it still smells. <laughs> like that soy sauce it's a strong leathery soy sauce flavor scent it's different it's very weird <laughs> all right let's try cheers okay interestingly um it's settled down a bit now the alcohol stingy flavor is gone it kind of tastes like wood bark <laughs> like if you start chewing on a tree trunk that's like that by the way I have not tried that um, but I just imagine that's the taste of a tree trunk bark <laughs> when you chew on wood <laughs> and it's got a little bit of acidity at the end so let's have some cheese this is creamy how far tea? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hold on, hold on. Creamy how far tea, I just got it. Ooh. Mm. Very nice. It goes quite well with the cheese. Because this is like a strong, intense wine. And the fatty cheese balances it out. And it brings out more of that. Pencil shavings Similar to the wood flavor that I tasted and it's like Pencil I mean like metal Very interesting Very interesting flavor. I have Never tasted that before like wood like a tree trunk bark <laughs> Of the court, the broken court. Yeah, so smell wise, it smells weird. It smells weird. Yeah, it smells like soy sauce or something gone bad. <laughs> Taste is okay. Taste is very unique, if you will. All right, um, I would recommend because this is something different than the usual French or dough. Um, Cabernet Sauvignon or Merlot. This is Syrah, Grenache, um, Carignan, Carignan. All right, 2013. Uh, from the south of France, Languedoc. 40% alcohol. Cool. 
Alright, that's all for this video. Follow me on Instagram. I post every day there. Subscribe for more wine chats and uh, silliness. Alright, thank you for watching. Drink wine, and I'll see you in my next one. Cheers!